let us move on to the very interesting topic here we are going to discuss about working with drop downs and working with web list drop downs i mean to say combo boxes in windows environment and as well as web list in web environment so let's start with the web list so see here here have a economy class so this is a web list here we go economy premium and premium economy and business I have three classes defined under this so let's work with this drop down or else i can call in this environment as a web list okay yes so let's start now so already have added that information into your repository first of all i want to find so what is my task actually let me explain you the task so my task here i want to know how many items are there in this drop down box and along with this i want all this like economy like what items it has how many items are there and what are the items are there in the class so i want that along with its index numbers along with its index number okay so when i call index number you people know it starts with zero index number every time start with zero if i want to select a premium economy what i need to do i need to call index number one then it selects this yes so we have done this while writing the script earlier now i use the same concept to fetch the data from the website okay yes so get first of all i need to count how many rows are sorry how many items are there and accordingly i need to take that into a loop and for each iteration it should pick each item and should give it as a output so that is what my plan is clear yes I want to find total items and let's print items along with its index number. So this is what our challenge is. So let's start with that. So first of all, I want to run the script in a loop so that for each iteration it will ping. So for that I need to count how many items are there, right? Yes. So here I use get RO property to handle that. Here we go. This is your address of it. Browser, make my trip page, make my trip website, web list, select class dot get ro property and what property you want guys items count is one property what we have items okay so let me take this into variable called i count it represents item count see so before uh, going ahead so first let's print it let's check it how many items are there so according to our expectation it should be three actually but let's see it's three you can see that in your console items count listed as three perfect so now i can ask my qtp to iterate i count times here we go okay so simple for i is equal to 1 to i count times but i count so three times right so for each iteration it should pick it should pick the value using its index number so we have a concept called get item get item is a property get item using this we can read or else we can get item based on index number item based on index number so for that we need to use get item using get item it reads the item based on its index number 
So if I want to read the first one, I need to call get item, sorry, get item of one. It will bring the first item. Get item, sorry, get item of zero. It will bring the first one because index number, it starts with zero, right? Yes. So now let's plan it. So go to this location. After that, dot get item. What item you want? I want the item for the first iteration, it should bring zero. For the second iteration, it will bring two. For the third iteration, it should bring three. So I can call it as i, but i starting with i starting with one. So I can call it as i minus one. It starts with zero. Yes, perfect. Or else to make it simpler, I can call i is equal to zero to i count minus one. Either way, we can write it. There are even multiple ways to write this. This is the simplest form what I feel. I2, 1 to I count or else 0 to I count minus 1 is simple mathematics. So web list. So get item of I. I starts with 0 because I is equal to 0 for the first iteration. For the iteration 1. For the third iteration it will be 2. So it ends up with I count minus 1. If I count is 3, it will end up with a 2. So browser page okay so i'll get some value right some item item name let's assume that so i'm going to get some item name so i need to print that item name along with the index number so it is like this print print what is the i which start with zero it is nothing but index number for us so that is what we are feeding up here right here we go. This one. So I index number ampersand I zero index number item is. Ambassin again ITE um, name. So it will print in a console saying that I zero first of all index number item is so and so one index number item is so and so two index number item is so and so. So it will print all the values one after the other. Let me run this. So first it will print how many items we have throwing up some error in a state line yide. let me stop this let us have a look on the message It's saying that it has some invalid value agreement argument. Let me fix this. So let's come back here. So actually here index number starting with one in this case. Get index number of i. I should start with one. So earlier we have started with zero, but in this case, specially it is starting with one. So for i is equal to 1 to i count 1 to i count okay so i 1 to i count so this script will iterate how many times high count times obviously now so here i have taken get item of i for the first iteration get item will be one so it will pick first item get item of two it will pick the second item and it will pick the third item continuously okay until it reaches i count times so earlier we have assumed that index number starting with zero but in this case it is not starting with zero it is starting with one okay 
So our script remains the same for i is equal to 1 to i count. Earlier we have written 0 to i count assuming that items count start with 0 but it is not starting with 0 it is starting with 1. So let me run this now. We will get index number along with item in your console. So you have three items. The first item index number is economy. The second index number item is premium economy. Let me show you that. And the third one is business. Like this. So including the index numbers, it has been printed up. Okay. So let's move the same example into Windows based. So we are into web based, right? So in the Windows based, let's see how it works. So let me save this. So let me take a new test for you guys. In a Windows base, we have one more extra concept here. 